Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another day on the adventure bus. So today we are working on the gray water tank. I've got some metal channel here that I've cut up to frame in the tank. And then I have this threaded rod, which we're going to hang the tank from the frame using the stuff. So let's get to work. Last thing we have to put in is a diverter, and that is on its way from Amazon. So we have to wait for that to come. Tomorrow. Well, it is a beautiful, beautiful day. Like the sun is absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna work on putting this trailer hitch in the front of the bus. It's gonna be to hold on to a bicycle rack. So the last time I welded, believe it or not, was across the street from here where Bluebird buses are made. And what I used to do was I used to weld the seats, the frames for the seats. So I put the legs on and the side brackets. Well, that was over 20 years ago. I've got this little welder here. So I'm going to attempt to kind of weld on this plate for the trailer hitch on the front. It's got two uh, grade eight bolts in it right now, which I think are plenty, but I kind of want to practice my welding a bit, see if I can do it. So here we go. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another day on the adventure bus. So today we're going to finish up a few things. I've got to finish up this panel right here. I've got one more break here to add in there. And then we've got some work to do back in here. We're going to work on kind of cleaning up this and making shelves and stuff because that's going to be part of the bathroom. So. Uh, all of the plumbing is done now. So one thing I do have on the list is I want to test all of the plumbing for leaks before I seal up this wall. 
I do have the dent shield that's going on the wall in the bathroom, so I've got that ready. And back here, well, not much. Not much has changed, but I do want to put a lock on the door there as well. Okay, so I got this guy here, which is going to go up here to plug the shower. And then I have the tub spout piece to go on the bottom as well. And then I should be able to kind of pull that and kind of check all of the fittings for leaks. So I've got some water. I've got to get the water into the holding tank. That's gonna be a bit of a chore. I think the only way to kind of do it is to put it into a bucket and then from the bucket, pump it out of the bucket and into the water tanks. Uh, unless I kind of move the bus over to the house and use the hose there, which I might do as well. But we'll see. I do have to get that water system tested before I kind of move forward on a few other things. So let's get these plugs in place and this breaker in. And then we've got more after that. Two hours later. Okay, so I don't have the right piece here for this, so I have to go to the hardware store and figure it out. It's threaded inside, but I can't, I can't get that one to work, so I did get the test fitting on the shower, I got the breaker in the panel, so that's complete. So we now have a completed panel. So we got our 50 amp in the middle, our 20s and our 15s. I've got the cap up here on the shower so that I can test, but I have to figure out this one down here for the faucet. Now that that's in, I'm going to, the electrical panel's done, I'm going to clean all this up and build that closet today. Two hours later. Alright, so we're working on putting in the wall on this side here, which I'm just using some of this tongue and groove and I have some left over that's small enough pieces that I think it's going to work out. So just need to put another board in over here and we're good to go. Okay, so we got the ceiling in the shower painted with the first coat of Flex Seal. So we're gonna see how that works. Uh, just, I didn't wanna change the ceiling in the shower. I didn't wanna add plastic to it. I figured I might as well try good old Flex Seal and uh, hopefully it gives us a waterproof barrier. So I'll let you know how that turns out. This is just the first coat. Probably gonna put two or three coats of it on. And then over here, been working on closed up the fuse panel behind here, um, added some tongue and groove here, and then down here. So that's all cleaned up. And then next up is to finish up this wall here. So, so I definitely want to get out of these fumes. So that's going to be it for the work I'm doing on the bus today. Give that stuff 24 hours to cure. So if you like this video, make sure you head down below, hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this one, smash that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy out there.